I look so exhausted this morning, but it's okay. It's the weekend. It's Saturday. Just stayed up way too late last night, but I am about to do my skincare. I mentioned before that I've been loving wearing um, headbands when I do my skincare. It's just been like so much better keeping the hair out of my face. Today's video is sponsored by Tula, and I am obsessed with their products, you guys. They are a doctor-founded, clean and effective skincare and wellness brand, and 100% of their products are made with probiotic extracts and superfoods. I love their cleanser. This is the purifying cleanser. So I just get my face um, damp and then I will wash it. But this one I really like because it is like so foamy. Like the more you um, keep washing it, I feel like the foamier it gets. And it also just smells really, really good. But can you see like look how foamy that is. It's super nice. After I wash, I just pat dry and I did want to show you like a couple of my current favorites of their products. They are cruelty free, none of them are tested on animals and the one thing I also really love about Tula is their message. They want you to like focus on being healthy and not having to feel like you have to be perfect. Like they don't want you to worry about the before and after. They just want you to feel beautiful every day. And I just like love that about the, like their message and their products. Wanted to show you a couple other of my favorites. So after I wash my face, I love using the 24 seven day and night cream. It feels so good. I just do a little dot on my finger and I put it on both um, cheeks, but I naturally just have really dry skin. So this helps make it feel so much more hydrated and it smells amazing, but I really like the consistency of it. And then I also have been loving their Rose Glow and Get It Eye Balm. This is a like cooling eye balm and it actually feels cold when you put it under your eyes. And it has like a pink kind of like rose tint to it. I don't know if you guys can tell with this lighting in here, but it's so nice. It just like brightens up your eyes. It makes you look and just feel more awake, which I totally need today. And then lastly, I wanted to show you guys their lip SOS treatment. They recently came out with lip care and I am obsessed with this one. It's the blushing lemonade, but it makes your lips feel so soft and just nourished and mm, it's amazing. The Blushing Lemonade is my favorite. They also have two other ones. This one is Strawberry Flush and then this one is Blackberry Velvet. But it's a really great lip product. And I do have a code for you. It's Bebe Hey for 15% off. The link is in my description box. So definitely check out Tula and try out their products. But I'm about to go to Starbucks with Brandon. I'm so glad that we're going to go get coffee because I really need it this morning. So I'm going to finish getting ready. I need to like obviously fix and touch up my hair. <laughs> and then I don't know. I probably won't do my makeup just because we're just going to go to Starbucks. So. Baby, baby. 
baby, baby, baby. You driving me wild, you driving me so crazy. Got me acting out, got me trying to stay sober. Me to stay sober. New whip. <laughs> Wanted to your love, and I'm out here hungover. You made me wanna take you to London, Paris. Yeah, that is. Okay. Right there. I was, uh, so she dragged me here. This I, is fun. That's cool. It actually is cool. No. Well, it's like really, really nice cars. Oh my gosh. The nicest cars. So expensive. It's not like random stuff. No, yeah. Nice stuff. For sure. Just went to Starbucks and a car show with Brandon this morning. He was like, do you wanna go get a coffee? And then we drove over to a car show that was happening and it was super cool to check out. It was called Auto Fest and it's at Red Rock, um, like around Red Rock or whatever. I don't really know the areas that well still in Vegas. I'm like, oh, so bad. But it's kind of like overcasty today and not that hot. I was getting a little bit hot when we were there because I wore this like long sleeve button up and then shorts But I honestly thought we were just going to Starbucks. So it's like, oh my god I'm literally sweating when we were walking around, but yeah, it was 82 earlier and then now middle of the day It's 91. So it's definitely getting colder here, which I know for some people that does not sound cold But I'm telling you it, it is colder it was funny because Brandon was like, you need to send a picture of like this car, this car, this car, whatever to my brother. And then my brother started FaceTiming me and he was like, dang it, I wish I was there. I'm so jealous. Like they both love cars and my brother and Brandon still haven't met yet, but I really am hoping that him and Camilla come out to Vegas and visit me at some point, maybe like in October. My brother did mention that at the end of September, him and Camilla are going to be going to Arizona to visit my mom. And my brother texted me and was like, can you make it? So I might be going to Arizona when they go, but I don't really know the exact dates yet. So I haven't really been able to like look at the flights. But yeah, I'm hoping to go to Arizona probably to see them and then have them come to Vegas. But yeah, it's a good day today. It's Saturday. Oh, what is the date? The 18th. So, I'm just going to film a weekend vlog today and tomorrow. I have some updates around my apartment to show you guys. I really don't know if this will be a good idea or not, but I kind of want to change, like, this whole situation. I'm, like, going through this phase where, like, I feel like I've been staring at everything the same for so long. Like I spend so much time in my apartment that I'm getting kind of like sick of the way that it's decorated. So this we're gonna bring out here. Let's see. the bed. I was looking into the mirror, you guys, and I literally did not see the bed, but wow, I think this looks good in here. Whew, okay, I actually am like, wow, I love that. I just want a second one of these mirrors, honestly, like, or three. They're so good. This is my favorite mirror. If you guys missed the video that I filmed when I went shopping at ikea i talked about that this is my number one ikea central the hobbit mirror and oh it is incredible i'm not even kidding but okay this is how it looks in here so that is going well sorry the ac is on i feel like it's kind of loud but oh my gosh it is so dusty Because the mirror 
years been covering this thing. So every time I'm like peeking back behind it to see like what temperature it is in my apartment. So I haven't really liked that. So this might be nice to change it. And then this one right here. That does fit good. I just got off FaceTime with Brooke and she helped me re- decorate everything i honestly think it just helps to have like a second pair of eyes to like look at what you're doing also do you remember when i filmed that organize my bathroom with me video i forgot to take off the tags on this basket and i literally just realized but we change so much i need scissors i'm gonna show you guys all the updates but so I need to wash more. I mean, um, my towels are in the wash, so I need to add those after. But this bathroom already looks so much cuter. I put these candles and candle holders in here, which is super cute. It used to be on my um, TV stand and then I switched out my soap for like a fall one the Iowa pine and you guys I did not realize but look how many hand soaps I have like I keep buying a different one for the seasons but I have the raw sugar um, lemon one another Iowa pine the lavender I don't know if I love this or not but I cornered the gold mirror and then I put the black lanterns on the ground next to it and then this looks super cute it's more like a casual little area but I had gotten this at home goods so I put that next to the bench with a book on it and I love the book. It adds just like a little something with the pillow and then the coat rack. I left the coffee table super plain and simple. I just have this bowl from Target with the hearth and hand candle, some matches and coasters which are from Crate and Barrel, both of these are. And then over on the TV stand, this is what I was talking about with the pompous. I added the, them all into this vase and I feel like it just looks so much more full. And then the three element with the book and the knot is super cute. I don't have like a ton of decor stuff so I literally just left the whole TV stand empty. And then for fall, I brought my Crate and Barrel pumpkin back out, put it on top of both of these books. I'm not exactly sure what to do with it, but I put it right there just for now. It goes along with like the more cream look. And then this basket I moved next to the couch. And then what I can do is just take my blanket and... Just put this into the basket. But yeah, basket with a blanket and then goes with the pillow. This I can put in a drawer or just leave it on there. Didn't change too much in my room, but I moved my jewelry box over onto this side, perfumes in the center. And then this little pot is from Target, but I put these other perfumes that I have. They're not like as aesthetic, so I just have them in there. So I think that looks a little bit more clean. And then I added my other basket that I have into here. The laptop and computer stuff is why I want an office, but I put the tray that was on my coffee table on the kitchen counter, which I think looks so good. And then I still have the anthro candle. And then this one is the one my mom got for me for my birthday, the mahogany teakwood. And I just took the lid off, turned it upside down, put this little bowl with these Apollo Santo sticks that I ordered on Amazon. And I think it matches like the black theme with the um, paper towel holder and then the soaps. 
so that is perfect for the kitchen i definitely think it's coming along there are some things i still would want to buy i should get some like little towels like probably two for the guest bathroom to have on the counter like a hand towel and like a washcloth and maybe another like knit or like chunky blanket might be fun to get like a different pillow to put onto the bench or some pillows for the couch or something. I'm not exactly sure, but like so far I like that I've changed it up just a little bit so that it looks different. And I don't want too much like, I don't like a ton of like pumpkins and stuff like that. I do like that one that I have, but I'm kind of like steering away from that for like fall decor i'd rather just do more of like richer brown tones or like green like a dark green or like a deep orange or something like that where it's more like fall colors but not necessarily like pumpkins so that's my like style with decor but i definitely want to like go to target and like see what they have or maybe home goods or something i'm pulling into Target right now it is so bright out but I just kind of want to walk around and see what fall decor they have I do think I want to get a couple little towels and I also really want to see if they have this desk in stock I saw it on the website and either in stock or just like on display because I want to see like what it looks like in person it's on sale and it's like a pretty good deal but I want like a wood desk so I'm thinking this one would be kind of nice they have a console table of it too so even if they just have like the console table in stock that'd be perfect because then I could see like the wood and the quality but yeah, I'm not sure. So we're gonna go in there and just like see and then check out. Um, maybe I should park on the other side actually because I always park on one side of the Target that has like the food and stuff because I always come here for cold brew. But the other side of the Target has like all of the home stuff. So I feel like I should go park over there. This is the desk I was talking about and it's a console table. But I, I really like it. It's not like a two wide and like with a cute chair i think that that could totally be a vibe i also really like this bowl i don't know what i would use it for but i feel like it looks really unique this is also really cute i love the color of it it's pretty heavy 25 dollars which is not a bad price I saw online that they had these, which are, oh my gosh, so soft, in like a darker color, more of like a brown, which I would like a lot. They only have like the cream, which is cute, but I would want something just like a little bit darker of a color so I'd get more contrast. Also, the blue is like fun for this season, but they have it with a blanket too. These also come in this shape. I think I like the other one better. All I got were towels for my bathroom, or I mean my guest bathroom. So I got this like rust color, which I really like. And I just got a hand towel and a washcloth so I can set these out. 
I wanted to maybe get like pillows or a blanket, but the one I wanted, they didn't have. So I'll have to maybe order it online or just like check back if they have it in stock. But I'm glad they had that console table desk. That's not the one that I saw online, but it's super similar. It's like the same collection. It was just like another style. The one that I saw online was like a little bit bigger. It was more of like a desk that one's like more of a console table it's like a bit smaller so i think it would still order the one that i was thinking because i don't know if that one is a good size or not i kind of want to go online and compare the dimensions of the two before i decide on which one to get and either way like even though that's in stock i have to order it because it's not going to fit in my car <laughs> so I'm gonna still keep thinking about a desk that I would wanna get for that room, but that one is definitely a good option. That smaller one was $220, and the one that I was thinking is $270. So they're still like roughly around the same price, but yeah, it would be nice to get a desk, and I like that color of wood. Like, I want something like that. Yeah, those are perfect. I didn't get a chance to work out today and I was wanting to at least just like walk. So I'm gonna go down to the gym and do just like 12, 3.30. I just wanna get like some movement in. It's honestly because this past week I felt like my workouts weren't like as good as the week before, which is totally fine. Like. Not all weeks are going to be like the best in the gym, but I just like want to go down there now. I was thinking of just like watching a YouTube video while I walk and instead of watching the YouTube video in my apartment, I might as well just like watch it while I'm on the treadmill. And my workouts weren't bad, I just felt like I kept getting distracted. Like, I don't know if you do the same thing where like you try to put your phone down but then you just like constantly keep picking it up and that was me like I kept getting like so many notifications on my phone when I was like in the gym or like it's totally fine but like people were calling me while I'm in the gym like my mom or whatever which I want to talk to them so then I'll answer and then I just feel like I get sidetracked so yeah I don't know my workouts this past week just like weren't amazing so I'm gonna go just walk and tomorrow morning I'm actually going on a walk too with Brooke we're gonna do like a morning walk I think we're leaving she wanted me to be at her house by like 9 a.m and then we're gonna walk to this place called Nectar which will be fun I'll just vlog it and show you guys tomorrow I love that my hair fits in a pony I've been doing more high ponies lately I just think it looks cute but <laughs> gonna go down there also do you ever just like feel so happy when you put your hair up like now that my hair fits in a pony whenever I like pull it out of my face and just like put it back I'm like wow this feels so nice I always put my airpods in before I go down there because there have been so many times where I leave my airpods case in oh no they're on red how much battery do I have? Thank goodness. The AirPods have 99% and the case has 12%. So I'm gonna plug this in before I go. Yeah, I constantly leave my AirPods case in the treadmill and I'm like, oh my goodness, because I have to go back down there and hope no one stole it. <laughs> so I usually just put my AirPods in before I go. And then I'm good. Did two miles, which was like 40 minutes. And I feel good. It was like 400 calories. So it was a great walk. Watch some YouTube. But yeah. Just got my bath set up. And then I'm going to have some dinner. I'm honestly pretty hungry and I want to have dinner. But I'd rather just like at least take a quick bath and wash my body and then I can get like some comfies on, have my dinner. So 
I just put some like Epsom salt and foaming bath in there so that it's nice and relaxing. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update, but my walk was super good. I'm so glad that I went and did that. You can like, you'll never regret doing a workout. So if you need some workout motivation, go do it and you'll feel great. <laughs> put some comfies on and I took my hair out of the pony. Even though I liked it, I get like a really bad like indent in the top like quick if I leave it in too long and I don't want my hair up um, tomorrow. I don't think, maybe I do, but if I leave it up, then I'd have to wear it um, up tomorrow. Well, I guess I'm going on a walk with Brooke, so maybe I want to, but anyways. I just decided to take it out and then this sweatshirt you guys is one of my favorites it's from amazon i'll have it linked on my amazon storefront it's like just a hanes men's sweatshirt i got it in a large so that it would be like more oversized it honestly shrank kind of a lot so just threw this on with some sweats and these sweats are from top shop they're kind of old i'll see if i can find them um still on the website they're from nordstrom but yeah, super comfy. It's so funny because growing up, I never ate dinner like at the coffee table or on the couch. Like I always ate at the kitchen counter or the dining table. But since I've gotten my apartment and lived alone, I always eat down here or on the couch, like always. And if I had to say like my top thing that I don't like about living alone the most, it's eating alone. I don't know why. I just feel like there is something with eating by yourself that feels like the most lonely so i always have a show on or a youtube video just to like make myself not think about the fact that i'm eating by myself and i enjoy it sometimes like i do like my alone time but there's a part of me that just like loves eating with other people more and just like sitting and enjoying your meal and like talking about your day like that is something that i really like about living with other people so if you're like me and you just like don't really like eating by yourself, turn on a show or a YouTube video so that it just like occupies your mind. Cause yeah, that's definitely like my number one, but I'm going to watch, mm, I don't know if I want to watch more Bachelor in Paradise or if I want to watch YouTube. I'm going to see if anyone's uploaded anything good because I was watching vlogs when I was walking and I don't know if other people have uploaded more oh my gosh why is it I keep trying to mute it and it's like on this cooking show so yeah I'm either gonna watch vlogs or paradise I'm looking online at Target's website to order the pillows and blankets that I wanted because they didn't have the color in stock today when I was there. They have it in brown, green, blue gray, burgundy, and cream. But I want my apartment to have like a little bit more warmer tones. So I'm gonna get two pillows. They have the square size, or square size, oversized square and oversized lumber. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with square. And then I wanna get the blanket. There are some people that are, aren't into Bakul, but I honestly really like this material. It's like teddy looking. So, yeah, we're just going to try it. I'll get it in like, what's the date today? Week.
I'm just pulling up to Brooks right now. Good morning. I'm a little bit late. I was supposed to get here at 9 and I was in the car driving and I texted her. I'm like, sorry, I'm running a few minutes late. But she was like, it's totally fine. The reason we wanted to go earlier was just because it starts getting really hot out. Right now, it's not bad. It's currently... 82 and then by afternoon it'll be like 90 so it's definitely getting um or like cooling cooling off here but i brought my coffee to go and yeah she um has a dog named toffee and then her and michael got another dog a new puppy and they named the puppy honey so i'm really excited to meet the puppy go for a walk so just wanted to quickly update you before I um, got here. It's so cute. So cute. What kind of dog is she? A uh, Caucasian Shepherd. Oh my goodness. Look at that face. She's so cute. She's so cute. So soft. Yeah. Like really soft. Oh my gosh. Just a little teddy bear. Look at that eyes. Hi, baby. <laughs> I got the green apple detox. It has green apple, cucumber, kale, lemon, and ginger. And then I got turmeric shot. And Brooke got, is yours a smoothie? Yeah, it's mango delight with spinach and then a ginger shot. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. <laughs> Can you smell it? Yeah. Strong. So strong. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Can you find me? Yeah. <laughs> but I really don't like that kind of car wash where it um, you like drive into it with your wheels like it's bad for them but I cannot find a good car wash where it's touchless I used to go to one in Washington and I loved it it was like by my house there but here I like googled one I couldn't find one this was the place that Brooke recommended to me so I just need a good car wash that's touchless so if you know one Comment it down below or DM it to me or something. Just had to get gas. I'm gonna try to like recurl it with the air wrap and hopefully 
it looks good just because like i don't want to wash my hair yet i just washed it like a couple days ago and i've been trying to be better about not washing my hair too much because it starts looking too greasy too fast so we'll see if we can fix this I honestly wasn't really like sweating either, so that is nice. My hair actually recovered. <laughs> I feel like when my hair is dirtier, it curls and stays so much better. And then obviously got to add dry shampoo. I have really been loving the Lush scent one. I always buy the original, but this one is actually super good. So that is perfect. I'm sitting outside having some water, but I am wearing this dress that I got from Princess Polly. I love this like neutral zebra print. And then I also put Ferb back outside. If you guys know him, I feel a little bit sorry because he's kind of dying. This happened when he was inside. I just need to be better about watering him so that this doesn't keep happening. <laughs> so poor Ferb. But I am going to be leaving and I'm going to leave my camera at home. So I'm going to close out this weekend vlog here. But I do hope you guys enjoyed watching it and make sure you like the video if you did so that I know. And also subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed yet. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.